Alright, we just initialized a new git repository using command git init. And now it's time to create some files and folders inside of our working directory. And before doing that, let me talk about different git object types. On your computer there are actually two main object types and they are folders and files. In git world there are such object types as blobs, trees, commits and annotated tags. Blobs represent files, trees represent folders or directories and commits represent actual pointers to specific trees. And you could create different commits and therefore you could create different pointers to different trees. And with help of commits you could actually create different, let's say, snapshots of your project at different moments of time. And afterwards by checking out different commits you could move in time and go to different historical versions of the git repository. That's our git object types. To summarize, blobs represent files and trees represent folders.